Hello friend, it's uh, Boris Legend here. Today I will teach you how to defend in FIFA 18. Some of you might think that it's completely impossible to defend in this game, but trust me, it is fully possible. It's just completely different from FIFA 17 and you just need to wash away your old defending patterns. The biggest difference from FIFA 17 are the player transitions. It takes about one second longer to change direction in full speed. This means you need to plan your defending much better and be more cautious. Here you can see some examples of bad defending in FIFA 18. We are reckless and pay no respect to the slower direction changes. Let's first get into the commands you need to master for a good defense in FIFA 18. First we have the standing tackle button. Circle on PlayStation and B on Xbox with the default controller settings. This is working completely different in FIFA 18. Now you need to charge up the tackles just like you do with shooting. The more you power up, the longer reach of the standing tackle. Use 1 to bars of power for close range tackles when you're about 1 meter away from the opponent and use 3 to 4 bars of power to launch a power tackle when you are about 2 meters away from the opponent. And in combination with the standing tackle button you will have to use L2 or LT on Xbox which is the key to a good defense. This button gives you much better control of the defender and will help you very much to time and direct the standing tackles but also to turn and move faster on small spaces. Here you can see on the gamepad camera how we use L2 to get the full control of the player. We use the left stick to move backwards and wait for the right moment to step forward. Holding down L2 will be enough to make tackles, but we want to combine it with the standing tackle button simply because it gives us much better reach of the tackle and lower chance for the opponent to get through. You can see here how we combine L2 together with the standing tackle. 1-2 bars of power for close range tackles and 3-4 bars of power to launch a power tackle with a much longer reach. And it's very important to learn the distance. If you press the standing tackle too early, your player will simply stumble instead. A rule of thumb is to rather press it too late than too early. Then we're getting into contain, which is X on PlayStation and A on Xbox. Pressing it down and the computer will take care of the first press for you. This is a button that I strongly discourage you from using in FIFA 17, but in 18 it will be useful in certain situations, but pay attention. Never hold it down for longer than 2 seconds because it makes you passive. This will only be used when your opponent is changing direction quickly and you're losing control of your player. Simply when your player feels like he's on ice, this will give him the grip back. But remember, never hold it down for longer than 2 seconds. Press and hold contain to stabilize and then go back to manual defending with L2 and circle. Time for the slide and tackle button which is a square on PlayStation and X on Xbox. This can be very useful in FIFA 18 but it's always risky. I don't advise you to use it too often as you risk big gaps in the defense if you mistime it. I use it only when I'm 100% sure that I will reach the ball or as a last solution when I'm outplayed. Time for double man pressure or secondary man contain which is not as good as it was on its glory days but it's still very useful in FIFA 18. To do it you simply press and hold down R1 or RB on Xbox. This will help you to put pressure on the ball holder while you are covering dangerous passing lanes and in many occasions the AI will retrieve the ball for you. But you can never rely on the secondary man press because it's very easy to get past. Only use it as a complementary tool in the defense to help you put pressure. Player switching is one of the keys to a great defense and you need to master both types of player switching. First L1 or LB on Xbox which will make you switch fast to the player standing closest to the ball holder. And then we have the more important right stick switching. This will make it possible to switch to any player by just directing the right stick to the player you want to switch to. This helps you very much to close down dangerous through balls and to simply defend more tactically. Alright, these are the commands you have to master in FIFA 18 to improve your defense and these commands will also help you to achieve the three golden rules of defending in FIFA 18. Let's get into these. 
Rule number one in your defense, the first priority, always cover the deep pass. You need to have a good vision on your opponent's attackers and track their movements. As soon as you see a threatening run, you need to use your right stick to switch to the most appropriate defender in order to stop this dangerous run. One of the most important but yet so simple tricks in FIFA is to use help from your midfield. Use help from your midfield instead of rushing with your center backs. This can be used only when your opponent makes no threatening runs since priority is always to cover these first. But if it's clear you can run back with your midfield and use the standing tackle to stop the attack. Shooting is overpowered in FIFA 18 and goalkeepers act like juniors but instead of crying about this we can instead try to do something about it. Block the shots. Using the standing tackle button you can block your shots much better. Just try to get in the way for your opponent's trajectory and launch the standing tackle. The more power, the better reach. If you can't stop them, well, block them. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did so, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe for some more content because we have more tutorials coming to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and as always, until next time.